quick little video about trap prep here, guys. We got the brand new MB550s, four spring or four coiled. They are the fastest trap by all means that I've touched. I mean, I can't, I can't even set them by, by hand. But what I'm doing today is rigging these things up. I just got out the dishwasher. They got a little, little rust starting on them. I'm gonna dye them tomorrow and wax them tomorrow. It's too windy today. I figure 36 degrees tomorrow, what better day to stand in the backyard and do it. But I'm excited about these guys. But what I'm doing today is making my own earth anchors. And that's the purpose of this video. You can buy these things just like this. Get your J hook. Get you these barrels. And get you some wire. I believe that's 532. And we are going to make our own earth anchors. Now, this is not something that these trapping supply companies are going to want you to know. But I can make 50 earth anchors if I rig them myself for the same price as if I bought a dozen pre-rigged. A couple. Yeah, say it again. I can make 50 for the same price as a dozen pre-rigged. So, we are rigging. And it is not that difficult to do. Just a little bit of patience will save you a lot of money because honestly, I feel like these earth anchors are one of the more expensive aspects of trapping besides the cost of fuel. Let me flip this camera around. I need these little bench vise right here. I actually have all my tools are not with me today. They are all an hour away in my trapping bucket, but. It's a finished product. All we're doing is crimping on both ends with the ferrules, all right? So we're gonna take our wire. Y'all might know, you know, surely nobody, everybody doesn't know this, but some people probably do already. But I just, I just don't fit in the camera frame ever. I've just decided that this is the way we're gonna do it from now on. So you can take a ferrule, and stick one end through the hole. And you can take your earth anchor, put that through that back side, and take it and bend it back through the other side of the ferrule. Like that, just like you believe it. And then just tighten it down, choke up on it and pull that excess wire on through it and try to get it choked up as fast as hard as you can so you don't waste any wire that's probably pretty good right there and you just take it in your we'll go this way with it take in your uh, work vise and you crimp one side first. Kind of choke up a little bit. Get her in there. I don't know if y'all can see what I'm doing. So that side's cramped. Oh boy, it's a hard video to make. Now I gotta crimp the other side. This is a uh, dual crimping system on each side. Lock her in. All right. Send you back. Well, I like mine 12 inches, so I'm gonna measure them out to 13 inches. Cause I have to cut actually 13 and a half because I have to cut and loop back through for this next process. Just some regular wool cutters. I actually had to use my I actually borrowed these because all my fencing tools are in my trapping bucket. Got kind of mad when I got started today, realized everything I needed was an hour away. But I don't want to drive up there today because it's cold. And the house that's up there is waterproofed right now. So we got that cut. And simply all we have to do now is take another barrel. Put 
thread it through, pull it back around to the other side, get it shortened, and just kind of work it in there like that. And then back to the, to the bench, vise, clamp, got pull on that side that the long side of that time. Make sure your loop's not too big. This is just for the J hook on this end. Lock her in. And that's that on that. And in case you don't know this part, strap that crunch free swivel. J hook through, just like this. You got the open end out. Take the earth anchor we just made, stick it through there. Back to the bench. I don't even have my S hook tool with me. That's okay. These things, S hooks I'm using are so freaking solid that I couldn't even get them to go with the channel lock, so. So why not just use the workbench? And she's great. Ready to go in the boil. I'm gonna do that tomorrow, it's too windy out there. But let me tell you, these things, I've been running 550s with the uh, two coils. These, mm -mm, that just changes, that's a game changer. Trap a lot of red clay, so I'm looking forward to setting these this week. We are calling for a ton of rain over the next four days. It's gonna warm up on Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. It's supposed to rain every single day, so I might not set them. We'll, we'll see. It's been slow the past couple weeks. That's why I'm in here doing this instead. Save you some money. For approximately $15, so I can make 50 earth anchors when, if you buy them pre-assembled, it is the same price for a dozen. See you. And keep on getting back at it. I hope this video is helpful for y'all. Dixie Critters, y'all like and subscribe if you want to see some more stuff. I'll eventually get bored and stop posting videos unless this channel keeps going. That ain't a threat. It just says what it is.
I like taking this black dog hunting better. What you think, black dog? Still the old black lab. Say hey to the channel. Did you get too close already? Right? Yeah. Pretty girl. Pretty girl. All right, y'all.